Okay, when I think about my fears, they might be a little dramatic. Uh, my family and I, we went to Jamaica a few months ago and we did this like dolphin excursion thing where you go swim with wild dolphins. And in the middle of this excursion, I'm swimming out in the middle of this cove and I remember thinking to myself, oh wow, I'm about to have this wild animal come up behind me and I'm supposed to grab its fin, it's gonna take me on this joy ride. And then I'm thinking, no, it as easily could grab my foot and like drag me to the bottom of the ocean and I could die, mm -hmm. 100%. <laughs> so I have a fear of dolphins, weirdly enough. Uh, I also have a fear of storms. I don't like thunderstorms, the whole thing about it. Like, you know, the little ticker that comes across the TV with that little like sound, the doo 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 doo, -doo. Ooh, it gives me anxiety, I don't like it. Uh, tornadoes, nope, don't do those. Uh, I also have a fear, actually my greatest fear is being convicted of a crime that I didn't commit. You can imagine being in jail and you're like, I didn't do it, I promise I didn't do it. Oh, no, I can't, I can't even think about it. So I know some of those fears, percentage-wise, probably are not gonna happen, but it's important to know that when fear does flare up, it actually can be a good thing. It could even be considered a gift. Fear is a God-given feeling. Chip Dodd says that it's not a sin, it can be scary, but fear is just the recognition that we need help. So you can have fear in your career, in your relationships, marriage, and money. And it's important within your marriage for you to know what you and your spouse both fear. So since we focus on money in this show, here are a couple of financial fears that people have. If something unexpected comes up, we won't survive financially. Time is running out and I won't get to live like I'd hoped. I won't be able to get ahead because of how the world works. There's also the fear that because of my past financial mistakes, I'm not gonna be able to have a better future. And then also the fear that I will end up just like my parents. So those are some examples of fears that people have when it comes to money. Now, I've learned again that fear can be a good thing because it motivates us to put things in place in our life to help us. But when fear grows beyond protecting us to paralyzing us, that's when it turns into anxiety and that's not what we want. Scripture is very clear not to be anxious about anything, and I take that as truth. So fear can actually be a good thing, but we have to deal with it in a healthy way. 